Come on, Google. Why, why do you change things so much and you mess us up completely? Oh my gosh. I don't know if you've noticed, if you are a Gmail user, but Google has recently become far more aggressive in their spam filtering. Is this a surprise to you? Oh my gosh, it's not a pleasant surprise because here's what happens is I was hearing from people through Facebook Messenger or LinkedIn saying, Steve, what happened? You've gone dark. Why are you not replying to my email? And I'm thinking, I haven't gone dark. I haven't seen an email from you. Then I think, uh oh, maybe it's in my spam folder. So I, like you, go into my Gmail account, go in more, scroll down. A lot of us never do this. Scroll down and go into spam. And what do I find in spam? But tons of emails, and I mean tons, literally tons of emails that historically have ended up properly in my inbox for me to reply to. People who I engage in conversations with for some reason are ending up in spam. It is uh, frustrating as heck. So today I'm gonna show you how you can ensure that the emails that should arrive in your inbox do arrive in your inbox. That is today on Dotto Tech. Steve Dotto here, how the heck are you doing this fine day? Now I have historically been a pretty big fan of Gmail. I use it as my main client and I've always been impressed with what a good job Google does of filtering through all of my email messages and recognizing what's important and delivering that into my inbox and what is spam and putting it in the spam folder. In fact, I had reached the point where I trusted it completely and I never checked my spam folder anymore or very seldom checked my spam folder anymore. Well, that has all changed because something has changed in the algorithm and many, many important messages are now ending up in my spam folder and I suspect the same is true for you. Now, unfortunately, there's no threshold. There's no slider that we can go into in Gmail that make, makes the threshold less severe and sends more messages into your inbox that probably should be there. So instead, unfortunately, we have to manually go through and double check Gmail's work and then tell it where it's wrong and do something called whitelisting email addresses to assure that they end up in our inbox. It's a pain in the ass, if the truth be known, and is gonna be a tremendous waste of time, but we have to do it. There is really no choice, unless you're willing to let a lot of really important messages go. So with, along with me, go into your spam folder and start scrolling through and be prepared to say occasionally, what the? Google, why did you put that in spam? Here I'm scrolling through mine with you right now. Now a lot of these are spam. To be fair, there's a lot of them are spamish. And as I go through my, oh, oh no, look at this. I sent an email to Ken last night asking if he can do me a favor. I wanna have a meeting with him. Why in the world did an email that I sent being replied to end up in spam? Makes no sense. So now I'm gonna go through and I am going to turn this email message and use it to create a whitelist for the email address of Ken here. And here's how we do it. Now, first of all, they will offer you this when you click on any email in spam. Is, why is this message spam? It's similar to messages that were identified spam in the, as spam in the past. Report not spam. <clears throat> really? Report not spam. I've clicked on that dozens of times on emails. Seems to make no difference. Now, I might be wrong. Maybe it does make a difference and Google will correct me, but do not trust this. This is a false message. I just ignore it. Here's how you ensure that email messages that are important like this end up in your inbox, and this is how we do it. Go under the three-dot menu and choose filter messages like this, and we are going to manually create a whitelist. You will have the person's email address there in the top, and then you create a filter. You click create filter, and in your filters uh, options, there is never send to spam. We literally have to go through and do this with every spam message that is in our spam folder that is actually a real important email that we should have in our inbox. It is worth taking a few seconds before we finish creating this filter, however, to make sure that it goes to exactly the place that we want it. Because we can, as well, go in here and choose that we want it to be sent, always say, to our primary inbox. So we make sure that it arrives in our primary inbox. You can also tell Gmail always to mark 
this email message is important, if it's coming from somebody who is important. So if Gmail is gonna force us to go through the effort of whitelisting email addresses, we might as well whitelist them and make sure that they arrive exactly where they are going to serve us best in the future. But the bottom line, never sending to spam will put things back to the way they were before, a kinder, gentler time when Gmail was reliable in how it filtered spam. That's what you have to do. Go through each message and do that. And it, yes, will be a total waste of time. Thank you very much, Google. You are now taking something that should be a productivity asset, which is your filtering of Gmail for us, and turning it into a time vampire, which is going to suck productivity out of all of us. Winner, winner there. Thank you very much for that. I hope you found this video useful. Actually, I wish that you didn't find it useful because my profound wish for you is that your spam filtering is better than mine. But I suspect that you, like me, will find this particular procedure something you have to do. So if you have found it valuable, a couple of favors. Make sure that you subscribe to this channel and ring the notification bell as well if you have any comments or suggestions. I always appreciate feedback from our community. We read each and every message in our inbox. Until next time, I am Steve Dotto. Have fun storming a castle.